Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Cheryl here this morning. It's a sunny uh, morning and I'm back out here with these uh, hedges. I'm getting ready to uh, try to kill some of this vine and I just wanted to uh, share with you how I do that. And I um, just want to say hello everybody. I'm glad you subscribed to my channel and, and I hope you keep up with this journey with this garden. And um, just want to say something quickly about my thumbnail. <laughs> my husband with that crazy scarf on his head. He's not a OG, but he, he might be a ASS, but he's not a gangster. So um, just wanted to say that quickly. Um, that's just an old picture and we protect, try to protect our hair when we're gardening. I don't have a scarf on today or a hat. I couldn't find the one I wanted to use. But I just want to say good morning and um, we'll get started in a second. He's mixing up what I need to uh, kill these vines. Be right back. Okay, I want to show you what tools I'm using. Um, I have a paintbrush. I'm going to use that paint the uh, Roundup on the roots and then some pruners. And then I got my gloves from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm going to try to uh, see if I can... It might be difficult because I don't have anybody to help me record. I'm going to move the camera down um, and kind of show you what I'm trying to do. So bear with me. Okay, I don't know. I'm going to move it in so you can kind of see what's going on down here. You see my hand? Okay. Um, This is this is the vine. See, it, I, I I'm going what I'm well. I was trying to pull it up, but it ain't gonna work. So what I have to do is see it's got a new shoot on it. I'm gonna cut below the shoot, and I'm gonna try to keep the pieces in a pile so that they don't propagate and come back. I see there's even some that are little babies coming up down here. Um, see. So I'm going to just have to keep digging in here and cutting them out. And the reason I have the paintbrush is so that I can be precise of where I put the weed killer so we don't kill the so we don't kill the hedges okay so i'm just going to quickly show you how i'm going to do this this is a, just a bowl of um a roundup if you can see that and i'm just going to take my paintbrush and by the way um i got to put this other glove on i got plastic gloves on under here and just want to make sure but these are the gloves I got from the Dollar Tree. They, they feel like a uh, high dollar glove, so I'm going to get some more of these. Okay, so I'm just going to take and paint on, on, the, um, on the vine with this. And hopefully that will do it for, for us. I'm going to be careful not to get any on the... Um, hedges and then any new ones these these little things that are I'm painting that that's that daggone wild um, violet don't ever get these going because they will multiply and take over too okay so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to try to pull out some of the excess first. Just make sure I'm painting the correct thing. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, when I release this video what my garden looked like before. It was pretty, but I didn't. I have time to come out here like I needed to. Okay, what else? I see there is a 
I'm getting a little, excuse me, I'm getting a little, um, a little wood, wooden sticks out of here too. Just where I want to clean it up. And okay, let's see. That over here is a vine. I'm going to take and paint that one. He didn't say how much I needed to put on it. But this uh, brand of Roundup, Roundup is supposed to kill it at the roots. So hopefully it just killed their roots and not anything else. Uh, but I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I've been doing okay. Uh, look, see how thick? Let me get this leaf out of the way. Look, look at the root system on that. And, and um, I mean, it's a beautiful plant. It has beautiful white flowers on it. Um, I didn't know it would self-seed and propagate like this. Because I had one before, and I, it didn't do that. But I think that was because I was on it and this time when oh if we plant it again uh we will cut, definitely be sure to cut it back after it flowers okay i'm not going to keep you guys long um i think i've done pretty much what i needed to do on this side as far as uh, painting the ones that are on this side of the hedge, I'm going to go in here and get this one. You see this? Uh, well, I guess you can't, but I'm going to show you. Okay. See? I don't want to get anything. Look at this long one. So I'm going to have to go in here and figure out where the root is and cut it, cut it down and put some of this roundup on it. But I'm looking here, I don't know if this is a hedge or if it's a weed, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to get that one in a second here, I've got to be careful. I see, I see where it's going, where is it, it's going, I'm going to pull through, and I'm going to prune it, oh, can you even see what I'm doing, y'all see, just see my big head, um, okay, I'm going to cut, pull that out, and then I'm going to paint it, but, um, I'm not going to keep you guys long, I just wanted to show you how I'm going to do this, and, well, check back in probably a week to see if this actually worked. And I'll let you know. So I'll see you on the next video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. I may show you something else in the, in the garden if I do it. Okay. Bye. I can't. Oh, I got to take my gloves off. My phone won't. Hey, I'm back. I wanted to show you. I hope my camera isn't going in the right direction. These, uh, I only had a few plants that still live in my garden. I want to show you these peonies. Um, they got the buds on them. But can you see up close? See the ants? Um, the ants on the peonies is not a bad thing. What they do is they help the blossoms open. So that's why you shouldn't kill ants when you see them on peonies. Um, I wanted to take and dig this up and put it in a pot, but I don't want the ants that close to the house. Maybe I'll dig it up after it blooms for next year. We'll see. I think this is a white peony, and uh, this is a pink one. Um, I don't see too many ants 
Oh yeah, there's one um, on these blossoms yet. And remember this rose, um, I don't know if you can see it beyond the weeds. It's, uh, it's getting bushier. So I guess feeding it helped. And then I want to show you these. This was the, uh, my climbing rose I fed. You see it's getting some new shoots on it. So it's getting new growth. So that's good. It's, it's got a thick graph. I have a couple pieces that are dead. I'm going to cut them off. And anything that's laying low, I'm going to tie up. Um, let's see. Like this one has some tall growth on it. I'm going to try to start trailing it, tying it to the trellis. Um, he said something about painting it, but why? Okay. Look, my irises are coming up good now. They'll probably bloom in the next couple weeks. But I'll probably end up digging these up. I think they're purple. I don't, don't know if these are purple. Or the daylilies look okay. Uh, I forgot what color they are. They might be purple. So they're coming up. I guess the rabbits start, decided to stop coming back. Okay, I wanted to just show that to you real quick. And I'll be back. Hey, I'm back. I wanted to show you my purple bearded irises that I got over here toward the front on the other side of my house. Um, I planted these and I have not done a thing to them. I haven't watered them. I haven't fed them. They have um, nature's mulch, these pine needles that we have everywhere. And they bloomed pretty. So I'm excited about that. Because I think all I did was dig up a couple rhizomes and just threw them in the ground. I had, oh, there it is. I was say, I had a daylily over here. There it is. I don't know what color it is. And then the monster plant. So, and this is some sort of vine. Looks like a wild rose. Hope y'all can see that. Yeah. So. That's my uh, irises. Came out nice. 